All right, so uh, welcome to my video walkthrough uh, for my sound skills submission. Um, this is the larger patch which I have submitted, which you will no doubt be poking through. Um, and I'm not going to go through everything in this patch, but I, there are some essential modules that are definitely worth looking at individually that were built specifically with each of these modules in mind. So my choices were uh, spectral audio, audio programming and interactive performance techniques and these modules, these elements um, were built as an overall project with generative modular music in mind. Um, so techniques that you might find in Eurorack and modular synthesis. So a lot of the modules in here are built based on pre-existing and well-established ways of using modular, particularly in generative ways. So there are some externals within this patch, which I have included in the folder. So you should just need to copy those to the right location on your computer and the whole patch will work. But I am going to open up some of these modules individually that are more specific to the module submission and some that were built from scratch just as a way of uh, exploring audio processing and audio creation uh, in this way and in this environment. Um, but while I have the large patch open, it's worth talking about the concepts behind this. As I said, this is modular. Uh, so this particular way that it is all plugged in together looks very complex. There's lots of um, virtual patch cables going everywhere. But we can repatch this in different ways to create different things. And this is only one way of having this patched. But essentially, our main sound source is the TS sample sound source, which I'll go into in more detail in just a second. There are secondary sound sources in the rings module, the plats module, and the braids module. Uh, rings and braids are both going through these ladder filters as well. Uh, there's some sequencing going on with the Euclidean sequencer. Which, and then there is some logic stuff going on as well, just to kind of expand on that sequencing and just create a little bit more variation and step away from what the Euclidean sequencer is generating. In terms of audio processing, there's the spin drift filter, which is based on Michael Norris's spin drift externals library. And then we have a multi-tap delay, which was built from scratch, which which is varying the delay time per tap. So there's eight individual taps within this delay. Uh, and each time a sound goes through, it's delayed eight times. Um, and each one is given an individual delay time, uh, an individual level, so an individual volume per tap. It's pitch shifted and it's panned. And this is currently modulated using the interactive element that I've created for interactive performance technique, which is based around the webcam. Uh, but you can input anything with these, and that goes for all of these uh, modules. We can modulate different parameters using different things. So just need the data. Once you've got the data, you can do whatever you want with it. And in this particular case, I'm using color variation to modulate that based on video input. But there's also a convolution module, and the idea behind this convolution module is not necessarily your traditional impulse response based um, convolution reverb. Moreover, it's using live input and recording things and reversing things in buffers uh, and then convolving that with the input itself. So you're convolving um, against your own input, your own sound. Uh, and then there's a mixer just to manage everything. And down here, you can see the TS camera control module, which is our interactive module. So you can see as I'm passing my hand across the screen here, different parameters in different modules are being modulated. So yeah, that's the wider patch that I've submitted. But as I said, these are modules. These can be repatched and repurposed in any way. So this is just one way of plugging stuff in. And the idea was just to create modules primarily because modular is expensive and I have a max license and not enough money to build my own modular system. So here we are, here that was, and I'm going to open up individual patches now uh, in their own patch so you can hear some audio examples of what they're actually doing um, and you can hear them individually outside of the wider patch and get a greater sense of what they're actually contributing to this patch or to any patch that I or you or anyone else wants to create. 
So yeah, without further ado, I'll crossfade over and we'll talk about sample.